Ladies and gentlemen, this is Panda, and uh, I am uh, broadcasting this, and uh, I wanted to share my experience with you guys about DaVinci Resolve. And right now, I am using my Lavinia microphone and my H4N Pro to do this voice recording. I just think I fixed the problem. This may help some people, so take this with a grain of salt. As a videographer and as a photographer. I'm also having issues with DaVinci Resolve, and I had a GPU crash, I get a front crash, when I'm changing something in the timeline, or add a transition, it crashes. I know that Blackmagic is working on new technology, and try to make it better for the editing page and for the color page, but every time I go into the color page, I have this issue with Dimension Resolve crashing with fronts, but just turning around with one particular setting may have changed all of that. So I go into preference and I go to memory and GPU. And the one thing I noticed, this was set to audio. GPU processing mode was set to audio. It should be on CUDA. If you're using an NVIDIA card, this should be set to CUDA. All right, and then I saved it, and it's gonna ask you to save it or prompt to restart so it can take effect. And I noticed it, just playing my timeline, it plays much smoother, there's no jittery. I don't get that GPU warning. Hold on one second, let me make sure that the, okay, that's, that is playing. Okay, so now you guys have a better understanding that this is playing much smoother than before, literally. Yes, I'm using OBS to record and I'm rendering at the same time on one laptop. Mind you guys, I'm doing this on one laptop. I'm broadcasting, live streaming, and editing and rendering at the same time. I love this laptop. Okay, guys, you seem to hear first. I'm trying, mind you, yesterday, last night, last night, yesterday, I absolutely went through hell using the software. It destroyed and corrupted my timeline. It got things missed. I don't know what was going on, but as you can see, I'm not having that GPU full memory warning pop up anymore. How? Easy. I fixed it for you guys. So, as I showed you before, go to preference, go to the GPU and, and memory, go to GPU configuration, go to GPU processing mode, and you want to turn this from auto to CUDA if you're using NVIDIA cards. 
if you're using AMD cards, you want to do OpenCL. So keep that in mind. But also take this video with the grain of salt. And I just went to play around with some of the, the programs. I mean, the settings inside the program. And tweak it around with it and realize, hmm, this is what's the culprit behind it all. So guys, go deep and dive into your settings and make sure that you have your settings correctly. And mind you, it's going to actually prompt to restart. So save your timeline beforehand before you restart. But yeah. I'm doing something special here, and I wanted to show you this. Guys, if this was very informative, if this was very helpful, please let me know down in the comments down below. Guys, as a struggle photographer that is struggling, please, I emphasize, like, share, hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I do live streams or important videos like this to help you continue to create and move forward. So with that said, everyone, if you'd be so kind, there's a PayPal, Cash App, and Remo down in the description below. It will definitely help me out. But I'm glad that I'm looking into this. I'm glad that I actually try, I fixed the problem. So now I can continue to start editing and move on. So with that said, everyone, I hope everyone is having a great weekend or will have a great weekend. I hope I have a great weekend. I hope things happen for me because uh, getting getting kind of sick of this whole COVID thing. But uh, with that said, everyone, thank you for watching. I know this is a ransom live stream, but I wanted to emphasize in how I fixed the GPU problem. So now it runs smoother, better. And hopefully this video will be coming out in the next 48 hours. I had to redo the timeline again. So bear with me as I try to put everything back together. And I have a lot of work ahead of me, as you can see, if you look at my folders, uh, yeah. I got a lot of work ahead of me right now. And you can see that I got to add all this stuff back into the timeline. <laughs> so please do support the channel. Like, share, favorite. Uh, leave a comment down below. 